today is March 26, 2020, and we are on lesson 11-7, and our target for today is I can model my thinking to solve problems. And if you notice, I have the word model underlined because that is a key word in our target today. Model is another word for show. So it could say, I can show my thinking to solve problems because sometimes we can do it up here, but we need to be able to show on a piece of paper to be able to tell how that we solved a problem, whether it's addition, whether it's subtraction. We need to be able to tell how that we solve a problem. And let's go over some strategies that we've talked about in this topic. And the first strategy we talked about were base 10 blocks and how we can use base 10 blocks or base 10 drawings to solve a subtraction equation by subtracting multiples of 10. We also talked about a 100 chart. We talked about a 100 chart and how that we start with the whole, which is the first number that we subtract from, and then we travel up the 100 chart because when we go up the 100 chart, we are subtracting 10s. And then we talked about an open number line. An open number line is um, an, a, a line, basically, that has nothing on it. And you use your equation. It tells you where to start. It tells you how many times, if you're counting by tens, to jump. And then where you land is the difference in your subtraction equation. And then um, we talked about using addition to solve subtraction problems. We talked about how that a subtraction problem is made up of the whole take away the part equals the other part. An addition equation is made up of a part plus the part equals the whole. So you can think of what addition equation could you use to help solve a subtraction equation. And then the last thing we talked about was mental math, how that we can think in our head what family comes before that number when we're counting by tens. So we've been talking about our topic the entire week and the entire two weeks that we've been on this topic has been um, subtracting tens using multiple strategies. Now remember, strategies are different ways that you can work out problems. So it may be that a 100 chart would be the strategy you choose to use. An open number line may be a strategy that somebody else chooses to use. It's okay. It doesn't matter which strategy you use as long as the strategy works. Okay, now today we are going to model our thinking to solve problems. And today's equations are going to be a little different because we're not just going to use numbers, we're going to use stories. And I love stories. And stories are something that you guys can make up. You can make up any kind of story you want to. Um, it can have any number that you would like for it to have. We've made stories up in class before about addition stories and subtraction stories. For instance, uh, Miss Baker has 10 pieces of candy and she gives um, her student three pieces of candy. How many pieces of candy does she have left? Okay, and then you would use that story to solve the equation. So that's what we're going to be doing today, but we're, also, we're going to be talking about multiples of 10. So let's take a look at our first story. Now remember, keep in mind, we're going to use, choose and use one of these strategies to help us solve this. Okay, we may show you a couple of different strategies. We've got a couple of different stories to talk about. So let's take a look at our first story. Now before we get started, the first thing I want to say is let's not go crazy if we can't read all the words, okay? Because sometimes when we see these things and we think, oh, Miss Baker, I'm really not that good of a reader right now, and I can't sound out some of these words, or I've never seen some of these words before, we are going to talk about how to pull out the things we need to know. Okay, so the words are not always so important in a number story as the numbers are. Okay, so we're going to pull out the important things that we need to know. So I'm going to read the story, and then we're going to talk about what is it asking us to do, and what are some important words for us to know. It says, Val picks 40 strawberries. She shares 20 of them with her brother. How many strawberries did Val keep for herself? So let's talk about what we know. What numbers jump out at you here in this number story? Okay, I see the number 40. And I also see the number 
20. So that's the only numbers I see. So those must be the two numbers that we're working with. Now that I know some numbers that we're working with, let's talk about mm, if we're adding or are we subtracting, okay? So it says Val picks 40 strawberries. She shares 20 of them with her brother. Now, if I think of the word share, that means I'm giving something away. So if I'm giving it away, I must be taking from what I have and giving it to someone else. So is that adding or is it subtracting? That's right, it's subtracting. And also, it says how many strawberries did Val keep for herself? So we are subtracting. So are we taking 20, subtract 40? No, we're not. It is 40, subtract 20. And how did we know that? Because we always subtract from the biggest number. Okay, so 40 is our biggest number. So let's write an equation to first help us to solve this this um, number story. So we say 40, and then did we say we were adding or subtracting? Subtracting because it says shares. So we're gonna subtract, and then we are going to subtract our 20, which is our part, okay? Now, now that we have our equation, looks just like what we've been doing earlier, right? We took out all these words and we pulled out the important, important parts, the numbers, and then what tells us if we're adding or subtracting. Okay, so let's solve. 40 take away 20. Let's think about our strategies that we have. We have base tens, 100 chart, open number line, addition, and mental math. Okay, so um, mental math, we really just talked about taking away one multiple of 10, and this one looks like two multiples of 10, so I'm going to not be using that strategy, okay? But hmm, I could use think addition. <coughs> Excuse me. Think addition. So I know that this is my whole. I know this is my part, and what I'm missing is my other part. So in an addition equation, we have part plus part equals whole. So let's fill that in based on what we already know up here. So one of my parts is 20. And then the other part, I don't know yet. So I'm just going to put a line. And then the whole is 40. So I'm going to put 40 here. So let's read this equation together. 20 plus blank equals 40. Now, once we have that addition equation, I'm going to draw me an open number line because now that I have this addition equation, I know where I'm going to start, I know where I'm going to stop, but I don't know how many times it's going to take me to get there. So let's figure that out. Now, when you're adding on an open number line, you start at the left because you're going forward. So we're going to start with 20. And we're going to stop at 40. Okay, now we're going to figure out how many hops, oh, jumps, because we're counting by 10, that's right, how many jumps it takes to get there. So from 20, one jump gives us 30, that's right. And then 30, 40, very good. So we've already made it to 40, now what do we need to do? we need to count how many jumps. So this jump was worth 10. This jump was worth 10. So 10 plus 10 equals 20. That's right, 10, 20. Two tens is 20. So our missing part must be 20. So now let's read our addition equation. 20 plus 20 equals 40. Can anybody tell me what kind of fact that is? That's right, it's a doubles fact, right? 20 plus 20, a doubles fact is when two add-ins are the same number. Very good, 20 plus 20. So that means our missing part is 20. So let's read this equation. 40 take away 20 equals 20. So how many strawberries did Val keep for herself? She kept 20 strawberries. So Val had 20 strawberries, 
and then her brother got 20 strawberries. So at least they had an even share, right? They both had the same number. They had equal, remember? Equal is the same value as? Good job, awesome. You guys did great on that one. Let's try one more, okay? Now, this is a story about sleds. Now, now is not the time of the year that you usually had sleds at the store, but you never know. It says, a store has 90 sleds. It sells 30 sleds. How many sleds does the store have left? Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to take out the numbers. What numbers do you see here that we're working with? I see the number 90, and I also see the number 30. So I know we're working with the number 90, and I know we're working with the number 30, but what am I doing with them? Am I adding them or am I subtracting them? So let's look back at our story. Um, I know that when we're adding, usually it'll say in all or all together. Um, uh, don't really see those words. But what words do you see that lets you know you're subtracting? Maybe the word uh, take away? Hmm. I don't see the word take away, but I do see the word sales. And when you sell something, you're giving it away, right? So sales could mean that you're taking away from what you already have. Or this says how many sleds does the store have left? Yes, we've talked a lot about that in our Simple Solutions. When it says how many do you have left, that means you are subtracting. Awesome. So we know our numbers and we know if we're adding or subtracting. We are subtracting. Very good. Now, in a subtraction equation, what number comes first? That's right, the biggest number. And the biggest number is also known as the whole. Very good. So our equation is going to say 90. And we know because it talks about left and it talks about selling, which means giving away. Okay. So take away, 90 take away, and our other number is 30. 90 take away 30 equals blank. Okay, now, now that we have our equation, now we've got to think about a strategy that would best help us to solve it. Now, a strategy that um, we've not really talked a lot about, but it's a really, really good strategy to be able to use, especially on your already, um, especially on your assessment or your test that's coming up, is place value. Now, you can always use drawings, okay? And when I say drawings, we're not gonna draw sleds, okay? Because a lot of times that takes way too much time to draw those detailed drawings. So what can we draw to represent 10? That's right, a straight line, because a straight line represents a 10 rod. So we're gonna start with our hole, which is 90. So how many 10s are we gonna draw? Nine, so count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine tens, nine tens. So we have nine tens. And then how many are we going to take away? Three tens, okay? Three tens, not 30, but three tens. So I'm going to take away one, two, three. So nine tens take away three tens equals, let's see how many tens we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six tens. Now, how much is six tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Very good. So let's take a look at our equation. 90 take away 30 equals 60. Or nine tens take away three tens equals six tens. Awesome job. Give yourself a pat on the back. So you did a good job. Awesome. You did a great job. Now today you guys are going to be using their strategies. I only showed you two of those today, but you can choose any of those. You're going to be using these strategies to help you solve um, and model your thinking. And then on Friday, you're going to use what you know to show what you know. Okay. We'll see you next time.